Welcome back to the Ghostski. I am Gray, and today we have another Finnish First Division match for you. It is super late, and I actually was about to go to bed, but then I found out that they are rebooting the X Files, and I cannot fucking sleep having known that. So I figured I'd hop on here and, you know, get a little ahead and all that good shit. Burn off a little steam because I'm super fucking excited. If you know anything about me, The X-Files is, like, my favorite show of all fucking time. And, in fact, literally the other day I was sitting there thinking, like, man, I should fucking watch that again. I haven't watched that in a while. I was going to go do it. Now I have another fucking reason to do so. If you haven't heard, if you give a shit or not, I'm going to tell you anyways. Fox decided to pick up. A six episode run of the x-files i don't give a shit if other people watch or not i will and i will purchase that when it is available so anyway let's get into this um <laughs> we had some uh we have two more players i think uh out due to cards yeah we'll we'll soon staff Silla. so we are down four players yes we are most likely going to lose this match. Um, but here's here's the good thing. It doesn't really matter. Um, we are, we are, you know, we have earned ourselves promotion already. So it's really not that big a deal. Um, we're pretty much good to go. So, that means we can kind of just, you know, go out there and just relax. Not get too worried about it. However... I'm still gonna get upset. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of do anyway. I mean, it's just, this is just me. I don't like losing, so I mean, I'm gonna get pissed off. I mean, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I just like having at least the professionalism to not, you know, lose games when they don't matter. If that makes any sense. But anyhow, um, I have no idea what we're gonna do here. I guess we're gonna go. Uh, I guess, I guess we can put Hananen back there, I mean, and, and, you know, he doesn't really have defensive midfielder traits, but, I mean, he kind of mill fit in there, fuck it, we'll just, we'll just go with it. In fact, I think I am going to do that. It's probably going to be our strongest squad if I go and switch these guys like so. Um, let's see, whoa. We want to put now we'll just bring Kokiaho. I kind of liked him, made a couple good matches for us. I kind of, I kind of, uh, you know, get hung up on that, but anyhow, I'm gonna put Nisukongas back in there too. I don't think he's gotten any better at all. Nope, he's been pretty, pretty much as shitty as he's gonna be. Like I said, he doesn't really have much, much to grow in, into. I just kind of signed him because he's a young guy and all that good shit. Ooh, Ramasaho. Or do we want to put? Yeah, I'll we'll leave him in there. Let Garon Holmes sit down. I'm not that. Um, I'm not that worried about it. Like I said, I, it'll piss me off if we lose. It's a very, very good possibility. You know, I think JJK is bottom of the table. But anyway, it's still a good possibility considering we're down so many people and all that good shit, and we already have secured the lead the league so i mean we really don't have much to play for um now that there's anyone else at some well i shouldn't say i was just saying now that there's anyone else but then again those teams at the bottom are at least fighting to stay up and every point matters so maybe we'll make someone's fucking day i don't really know because i haven't looked at the league table in a while so um anyhow um yeah that's just about it i'm pretty excited to get going here into the pre the preseason the um uh the postseason whatever you want to call it um because like here let me uh blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna be say go out in there and win or something but anyway um most of the time um, when I do play this game I haven't so much on here because obviously there's not much we can really do. In terms of moving players around, buying players, shit like that, we really don't have much, uh, much room to move around. But um, uh, the reason why I like soccer so much and um, football in this game uh, uh, in general is 
is because um, you get to do all the fun stuff all the time. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, I've played a lot of a lot of sports games in my times. I mean, Madden, NBA, 2K. Played hockey many many moons ago. Um, I mean, I've been I've played a lot of different games. Um, and the funnest part for me has always been the, the off season. I always loved, you know, um, drafting players, signing free agents, shit like that. And you get to do that in football all year round, especially on this game. Now, obviously, you have certain windows that you know those moves can actually go through, but you can do all the scouting and all that, and all the bidding and all that shit in between the windows, which I absolutely love. So, like I said, I. I like doing that, and I usually do a lot of that throughout the course of the season. Every once in a while, I'll just kind of stop, especially if there's like a long break in between games, you know, a week or two, and just kind of um, go through and just just do a lot of scouting, do some heavy scouting. I haven't, like I said, so much on here because we don't have the money to do so. I mean, I've, I've taken a look here and there, but I mean, like I said, we really don't have much room to really buy players or anything like that right now. Um... But uh, in the coming seasons, there will be a lot more of that throughout the course of the season. Um, and I'll update you that, you know, in, in every, whenever that happens, you know, in, in uh, episodes. I mean, I'll still do like an off-season episode where I'll kind of just round up everything that happened. Because that's usually when I try to do all the things, the administrative stuff, um, uh, signing coaches and shit like that and getting all that figured out. You know, I'll recap all of that for you. And like I said, if there are any moves, um, since pretty much all we're going to be able to do is domestic signings, um, because we really don't have the 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 um, reputation, the the um, it's like the not really the popularity vote or anything like that, but we just don't have the financial pull and stuff like that either to do to do anything. So um, we do have actually in between this game and the next um, the. Uh, the finish um, regen date is coming up. The youth intake is coming up. Um, I will obviously in between this episode and next let you know if we, you know, what what we bring in, if anything that's notable. If not, you know, all that good shit. Um, uh, let's see. I I usually how should I say this? Like I usually I don't cheat when it comes to regens. But I mean, I do I do pay attention to the dates, you know. I do I do write them down and kind of stalk them. Well, some people call that cheating, and that's why in FM15 actually they kind of change those up instead of having a set date for for a country and, and for some countries that have youth youth intake dates. It's kind of like a you know sometime during the month kind of thing. So you don't yeah. So they kind of keep you from from kind of stalking those. Although I don't think. Though so on this one, you know, they, they don't want you to go in there and snap them up for uh, for super low transfer fees. But although on this one, I think the transfer fees are different, or are decent. Oh, you should really score there. Oh my god, I don't know. How many fucking shots? Shit, I thought a Renz of all fucking people was going to score that for a second. But anyway, um, there's, uh, there's a lot of that going on. Um, uh, you know, oh my god. Why are you fucking kidding me? For all those fucking chances, and Ryson scores a fucking own goal. They don't even have a shot on goal in their lead. How fucking ridiculous is that? Wow. Anyhow. Anyhow. Um. Where was I there? Uh. Oh, regens. Yeah. Like I said, I. I honestly don't think they. You know. I mean, I. <sighs> I really don't think the prices are really that uh, bad. I mean, where I go to sign players of the countries that I like for anyway, I mean, I'm gonna come at a cut rate anyhow. So I mean, I don't feel, I don't feel like I do anything wrong by by noting. I mean, I literally just put notes in the thing and then you know, just go, oh look, everyone got you know their their youth intake, and then go take a look, see if I can find anything good in there. Is what I usually do. Like I said, I don't think that's cheating in any way, shape, or form. If you do, um, sure, whatever. I mean, that's, this game doesn't really let you um, sign players, like sign youth in, intake players super cheap like FM12 did. So I don't, like I said, I don't feel all that bad. You still have to 
buy them and then even then when you buy them when they just spawn basically you're gonna have to pay them pretty high dollar to to sign for you and they won't even talk to you as a coach you have to have a director of football so I mean like I said and that they'll they'll sign them and usually to a pretty a pretty big deal some countries like if you have a good a good uh um well actually you know what I take that back I think that kind of comes I think that kind of has to do with your um your your financial your financial standing like the um like you know how big your club is um because you know my I, I will admit that my um my Galway director of football the one that I have on there he will sign players and they'll come for a pretty high price in, in my honest opinion at a decent dollar you know per week but um my Viking club can probably sign players I don't, well, actually, you know, they can sign the same player, and I think one of them's going to get a hell of a lot bigger payday at being at the bigger club just because it's a bigger club than the other one. I mean, that's that's the way it seems to be, in my honest opinion. So, I mean, that, that, like I said, you're still going to be paying a certain percentage, a certain rate. It's just all based on what your standing is. You know, which is, ooh, nice pass, I'll say. Too bad Omal has no pace whatsoever. So, like I said, that's also one of the reasons why I don't feel bad stalking the regen dates. I mean, I pay a pretty decent dollar for players. I mean, also, this game really doesn't negotiate very well. FM12, when I play that, you could actually kind of, you know, find a way to fandangle some, some interesting contracts and some interesting uh, transfer fees. But in this one, it's pretty much, you know, the game will set a dollar and you've got to match that dollar. You don't get the, get the player. They'll just reject your bid. They do the same thing when they bid on your players too, which is kind of ridiculous. They'll just set a dollar amount and just bid your on your player continuously. You'll try to like, hey, let's negotiate this. Like even when you want to sell a player, they're like, no, we're gonna pay you that for them, and then they'll just back out if you suggest like a dollar more. So, um, like I said, I don't feel all those things considered. I don't feel like I do anything wrong by uh, stalking the regen dates. But, you know, to each his own. So, I mean, if that if you got a problem with that, sorry. Because I really don't. I mean, like I said, it's... You know, it, it, it in a way, I can see how you think that that's cheating. Because, you know, I mean, I know when the regen dates are. And I'm there at the shop window. But at the same time, honestly, I don't think you really pay all that much differently. I mean, I... I, I even waited on a player. There was one player that I did see pop up in Argentina. And I sat around and waited on him. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull the trigger or not. And then... Um... And then I finally did. You know, I waited like a year and a half. You know, and I still paid... I still paid about what he was worth. And and, and players in Argentina and South America in general come at a pretty high price. Um, in this game. So, I mean, I, I wasn't too... I mean, he only came up... He only came over for $2 million, Which I thought was actually a pretty good deal. Considering I had waited so long and he had gotten better. But, you know, like I said, it wasn't too bad. And then also, all things considered, I paid two million. I think actually, you know what? Come to think, of it, I think I paid. I think I paid a lesser rate on that midfielder because he came at two million, and if I remember right, I paid like six or four for my left back, and I bought him at about the same age too. So, you know, it's it is what it is. Like I said, you know, I don't I don't think we'll be doing anything uh, egregious by uh, taking a look at all the players that come in on youth intake dates, especially when they're your own country. I'm sorry, but you know, I mean, I, the game tells you when your own country's youth intake is, and you know if you scout teams, actually if you just favorite teams, the game will tell you anyway when, when, um, when, uh, when those clubs will have their youth intake. So all you gotta do is like write that down one year and then you can just put a note to go, you know, go check them out every year, which is what I usually do. Is I just put a note on the on the calendar and just say, hey, you know, finish youth intake is today, even though I know it's going to be, you know, the, the same day. But I always forget. I always have that mental block for some reason, and and I always I always forget when my country's youth intake is. Oddly enough, but anyhow, like I said, it is what it is. Um. And we will be taking a look at that in between this episode 
in the next, or I will anyway. Um, hopefully we'll get something worthwhile. Um, so that we have something to work with. I'm praying, and I know we're going to get like an attacking midfielder that's halfway decent, but I'm praying to God I get a defender. For the love of Christ. Oh, Jesus. One that doesn't do that would be great. Right? Like, come on now. I am going to dump a fucking... Okay, I got out there, take on the all. He's been fucking piss poor and apparently got injured. Well, not injured, injured, but you know what I'm saying. But anyhow, I guess you know that's 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 a good idea of what we're gonna be doing throughout the course of the, this LP. Um, but yeah, that's about that's about that. Like I said, I get I ever get really excited towards the end of seasons, I and mean, this is where I where I end up having the most fun. I mean, I, I don't know anyone. I don't know. I don't have any friends that like this game. All my friends hate this. They think it's boring and stupid and all sorts of shit, but I love this sort of stuff. Like I said, I mean, all this administrative shit, you know, the the scouting for players and, and all that good stuff, that's the shit that, you know, gets me excited. It really is. I don't you know. Like I said, this, oh my. And we're really bad today, by the way. I mean, this club is fucking terrible. Absolutely terrible. But I guess if we needed to lose, I guess it's best. To, oh boy. Oh boy. And then, of course, he back past that. He had Ose right there. And, wow, that was terrible. See, those are the sort of shots, like right there, too, that you don't want your club trying to take when they're in, when they're playing poorly. I mean when they're fucking down a goal by their own damn design. Now everyone's gonna get fucking cards. I think that means Ose is out for the next match as well. Though so luckily everyone else kinda comes back. It's only one match suspension for six yellow cards. So And also one of the good things I, sh I should talk about is um a ton a ton of countries are, are counted towards uh um EU for Finland, which makes building a club here super duper easy. I mean, basically the only place where you're going to have trouble getting kids work permits is going to be South America. Everything else, you literally have nothing to worry about. So, I'm kind of looking forward to that because I've never had that, that issue. And it really sucks when you get screwed on a player sometimes. Oh my god, there's nothing, there's nothing more infuriating than being able Especially being a small club like this, being able to sign a player who has a ton of potential, he's young, you can come in and help your club. Yes, that counts. Oh my God, Oyala, you saved us there. You saved us the embarrassment of losing to our own goal. Well, as of right now, give or take injury time here. But anyway, there's nothing more frustrating than that, and then being cock blocked literally by a work permit issue and you can't get a good work permit. My god, does that suck. I had that happen and the most notorious for me was Northern Ireland. I had a club in there way back in uh, FM12 and I just, I had a bear of a time. Absolute bear of a time. Every time you'd stumble on someone, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then I just like, nope. And just shut you down every time. Really, Hananen? <sighs> Fucking hell. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. like I said, at least we get players back after this match. Don't tell me they're just gonna play through and score. I'm gonna be super pissed. Super pissed. Don't do anything stupid, please. Thank you. Good God. I don't think I've had that happen before, though. I don't think I've had a player get injured and then the team score while he's on the ground. Usually they're sporting enough to, you know, not score somehow. I don't even get a chance to fucking take him off. But it is what it is. Oh boy, that was not what I wanted to fucking tell him. But they seem to have been motivated by it. I guess. I guess that's what matters, right? Um, anyway, we see SC Haka close the gap a little bit. The gap is still eight points, but we've only got two matches left, so 
We should, at minimum, win by two points. But anyhow, um, see, there's my note. Is my little note? Anyhow, that does it for this episode. You made this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, actually, no, we're not going to do that today. I thought about it for a second. I'm like, no, no. Anyhow, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I just kind of like, I was going to, I wanted to say something about the regens. But anyhow, I'll let you know how that goes next episode. Bye.